Hi, welcome back to the channel. I just recently got an email from Chris asking me to show the ramp sink made out of solid surface material. So I've made two countertops. Uh, one's face up so you can see the top side and I've also got one flipped over so I can show you the bottom side because that's what people tend to ask about. It's easy to see the front side but the back has to be specially designed so that you can hook up a drain pipe to it. So let me turn the camera around I'll show you the front side which you've probably already seen but then we'll I'll take you over and I'll show you the back side of it or the underside of the countertop. All right, here's the ramp sink. It's made out of Corian solid surface material. It's got a little slot in the back here. That's where the water goes. And this is sloped. Let's see if you can see that. This is about a two inch drop on the front of the sink down to the beginning of the slope. And then the entire ramp sink has a slot in the back. And it's all made out of Corian solid surface material. The entire thing is epoxied together. And once I finish this sink, then I glue it to the underside of the countertop material, which is also the same color, same material. So this is a vanity top. It's got two sinks in it. So let me show you the underside of the countertop. It's a du duplicate countertop. But you can see that this is the bottom of the sink. But this section here, this is the drain assembly. So the side of it, that's the side right there. And this is all you really see down to here. This is, this is the, well, this is the back of the sink. This, this partition to the bottom here extends all the way through. And then, so what I do is I, I make a section of the bottom of the drain here. And I, I use a CNC and I cut a hole in this little, it's like a secondary piece that I glue onto the bottom of this drain cover. And this is mechanically fastened with screws and I screw it into brass inserts onto the sink here, this portion here. And then I silicone it so it doesn't leak. I buy these drain pipes here from Home Depot. This is a standard drain pipe. And so I sandwich it. This has a little shoulder on it. And I sandwich that between this piece and the bottom portion of the drain. And this, on the underside of this, this is all sloped down to this drain so that the water kind of slopes down to it. So if you ever got a clog, you can take out these screws. You probably have to put a, a broad knife in between there to pry this off, but this will come off. That way you can clean it, you'd have access to it. Otherwise, if you glued this on permanently, you really can't clean it that well. I mean, maybe you could stick something up inside of the, the drain pipe here, but. So anyway, that's uh, the bottom side of a ramp sink. That's how I create it. All these pieces are cut with a CNC router. If you didn't have a CNC, I'm sure you could fabricate these pieces by hand, make some jigs make some patterns and cut out the pieces. Well, let me go back over to the top side. Everything you see here, all of these joints, the back, the bottom, even the front, they all have rabbit joints, so it makes it a little bit stronger. It also makes it a lot easier to assemble because it stays square. Anyway, I want to show you guys what a ramp sink looked like on the top side and the underside of it. Hope this helps. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.